phase space of a classical harmonic oscillator. The energy of a one-dimensional harmonic oscillator whose position coordinate is x and momentum is p is given by energy equals p squared over 2m plus 1 half alpha x squared where the first term on the right is its kinetic and the second term its potential energy. Here m denotes the mass of the oscillating particle and alpha the spring constant of the restoring force acting on the particle. Consider an ensemble of such oscillators, the energy of each oscillator being known to lie between e to e plus delta e. Treating the situation classically indicate in the two-dimensional xp phase space the region of states accessible to the oscillator. Now we can write the energy of the oscillator uh, classically as uh, p squared over 2m plus x squared uh, and I'm not going to write it as 1 over 2 alpha x squared I will write it as x squared over 2 over alpha and it's, it will become clear why I'm doing this and actually if I divide the two sides by energy I obtain 1 is equal to p squared over 2me and then for the position I have x squared 2e divided by alpha. The reason I've done this is because I want to note that uh, if you have x square over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1 on the xy uh, coordinate system. This is the equation of an ellipse. So if I look at this, basically if you substitute y is equal to 0, gives you x is equal to plus or minus a and x is equal to 0 gives you y is equal to plus or minus b. So uh, one of them is the major axis, one of them is the minor axis. So here, <clears throat> which one is the major axis, which one is the minor axis? So uh, for the uh, position I have x square over 2e over alpha so uh, I can see that my a is a square root 2e over alpha and my b is a square root 2me and obviously b is greater than e so b is the major axis and a is the minor axis for this ellipse uh, and um, a will be for the position so this would be uh, in the uh, position part and this would be in the momentum part of my uh, phase space okay so uh, having re recognized that this equation represents an ellipse uh, i want to see uh, what is the region uh, specified by the energy e to e plus delta e. So an, a, a value is square root 2e over alpha and uh, this I can write as square root 2 over alpha e to the power 1 over 2. If you look at the differential form dA infinitesimal changes in A will be given by square root 2 over alpha 1 over 2 e to the minus 1 half delta energy and this will be on the other hand I can I want to write it in terms of the uh, a value so if I multiply it by e to the 1 half and divide it by e to the 1 half what do I obtain this is going to become um, square root 2 over alpha 
e to the one half uh, and then I will have e to the minus one delta e divided by two. So this I can write as square root 2e over alpha delta e divided by 2e. So as you can see uh, dA is just a multiplied by delta e divided by 2e. Now I'm going to do the same thing for uh, b. b was square root uh, 2m energy which is square root 2m e to the power 1 half. So if I look at infinitesimal changes in b, this is square root 2m 1 over 2 e to the minus 1 half delta e and I will do the same thing here, multiply the top and bottom with e to the 1 half. So this will give me square root 2me uh, and I will have e to the minus 1 delta e over 2 so I see that this is square root 2me delta e over 2e which is just b delta e over 2e so uh, if you look at the two regions uh, A to A plus DA region. So A plus DA is equal to A times uh, 1 plus delta E over 2E. And the, re the region B to B plus DB, uh, this is B times 1 plus delta E over 2E. And once again, I have recognized that B is the major axis, A is the minor axis. So I'm ready to plot this in the phase space. So this is my position coordinate X. This is my momentum coordinate P. And the ellipse will intercept the X axis at point a, which is uh, square root 2e over alpha, and uh, p axis on at point b, which is square root 2me. So uh, I'm supposed to plot an ellipse here. So let me elongate this a little bit more. Uh, no, so now I'm going to plot an ellipse. Okay, so this is not very successful. Let me do it manually. So this is my first ellipse. And this is ba basically going to intercept the x-axis at A and minus A, uh, p-axis at B and minus b and now i'm going to uh, add an infinitesimal change in a and infinitesimal change in b so this will become another ellipse and now this is b plus db this is minus b minus db. This is a plus da. And this is minus a minus da. So for energy in the range e to e plus delta e, the uh, not accessible states on the p xp phase space will be given by this region that is enclosed by the two ellipses. So I can write this in words, the region of 
states accessible for energies in the range e to e plus delta e is the region between two ellipses shown above uh, with a corresponding to square root 2e over alpha b corresponding to square root 2me a plus de da corresponding to square root 2e over alpha 1 plus delta e over 2e and b plus db corresponding to square root 2me 1 plus delta e divided by 2e okay so we're trying to find the uh, region of accessible states in the two-dimensional xp phase space for a classical harmonic oscillator which is one-dimensional the first thing I did was to recognize that its energy uh, equation, uh, kinetic energy plus potential energy, p squared over 2m plus 1 over 2 alpha x squared, can be written as 1 equals p squared over 2me plus x squared over 2e over alpha, and then recognizing that equations of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to 1 uh, represent an ellipse on the xy plane, Therefore, this equation represents an ellipse on the XP plane. So uh, the intercepts I can find by using y equals 0 and x equals 0. So I find a is square root 2e over alpha, b is square root 2me. Then I decide which one is the major axis. Since I'm dividing energy by alpha, a is getting smaller. I'm multiplying by m, b is getting larger, so b is the major axis. A is the minor axis and the, the B corresponds to uh, the intercept on the momentum axis and A corresponds to the intercept on the position axis. So I look at A square root 2 e, A is equal to square root 2 e over alpha then uh, look at the infinitesimal changes in A and I can see that that is related to uh, delta E. Uh, so uh, I can see that dA can be written as A times delta E over 2E. And similarly, I can do the same thing for B. Uh, I can see that dE, dB is equal to B times delta E over 2E. So I'm ready to plot the, uh, on the XP phase space two ellipses that uh, are enclosing a region between A and A plus dA, B and B plus dB, A minus A minus a minus dA minus B minus dB. Uh, and so this region basically represents the accessible states with energies in the range E to E plus delta E to our one-dimensional classical harmonic oscillator.